downtown Charlotte. Another gorgeous but hot day here at home. Definitely feels like summer out there, Jamie. A few puffy clouds out there, a little more humidity as well in there. You probably noticed that today. Yeah, temperatures 82 and sunny. You think well, that's not bad outside, but until you get out there, until you get out there, you start <laughs> feeling it, right? Yeah, then you know that today is the coolest day of our seven day that forecast. Too. It Yay. only gets hotter from here. I know you're so excited. Low to mid 90s on the way. We haven't made it to 90 Ooh. degrees yet so far this year. That will likely change. Wouldn't be surprised if we reach that on Thursday. We have 90 degree is our high temperature forecast on Thursday afternoon, but if we don't make it. Let's say we hit 89 degrees. We'll likely make it by Friday, if not Saturday. It's going to be a hot week and weekend, and this is why ridge of high pressure builds overhead, and this is what's going to be driving the forecast pattern. When you get a ridge of high pressure, you get some sinking air. Not only does that heat things up, the humidity is going to be picking back up as well, but it keeps us pretty dry. Check this out. Where we have that ridge of high pressure in control, we may not even pick up any measurable rainfall for a good portion of the Carolinas with only just measurable rainfall chances out towards the west, but where you travel to the south, especially over Florida and then out towards the Gulf Coastline, we're going to see those winds out of the south ushering in some of that Gulf moisture to those Gulf Coast states. We're just not going to see many impacts from that. And as the front stalls off to our south, we have a low wind chance of tropical development just off the southeast coastline there of the Carolinas. Not expecting any local impacts from that. Certainly no rain chances, as I mentioned before, but we could see some rough surf rip current issues at the end of the week and into the weekend. Uh, really, regardless of whether or not we see any tropical development so far, high pressure is going to be the main story for us. You can see that center just to the north and west of us at the surface. We are dry across the area, just seeing a mix of sun and clouds and temperatures are at 85 degrees. So we're in the mid 80s right now. Dew points in the mid 50s, which is still comfortable, but a little bit higher than we were this time yesterday. That increasing trend just goes up from here through the rest of the week. But because it's still in check at this point, I think we have a beautiful evening ahead. Certainly no need for the rain gear. Temperatures dropping back into the upper 70s by 9 o'clock. If you're tuning back in around 11 o'clock at that point, we'll be in the low 70s, waking up in the upper 50s along the I-40 corridor, right around that 50 degree mark. Pretty comfortable, if not refreshing, for those of you listening in from the mountains. And the low to mid 60s in our central and southeastern counties. 64 in Charlotte, back to the upper 80s tomorrow. We'll be pretty close to the 90 degree mark. It's certainly going to feel like 90 degrees. It'll be a hot day with a mix of sun and clouds. We'll see some more high cloud cover for your Wednesday and then we get towards Thursday and Friday and that's when these temperatures start to ramp up. So 90 degrees forecast high temperature on Thursday. If we make it to 90, that'll be the first time this year. Mid 90s by Friday. So in terms of your hottest days, that's going to be Friday and that's going to be Saturday. We'll see a lot of sunshine. It's going to be dry and it is going to be humid. So feels like temperatures could be well into the 90s those days. Still around 90 degrees for those Father's Day plans. Unfortunately, despite the heat and humidity, we're not expecting much if any rainfall. Those outdoor plans should be good to go this weekend and even heading into most of next week. Rachel, thank you. Well, Father, 